Hello. We'll begin the lesson in one minute. <laughs> say hello. Will you say hello? Will you stay with me? You will be watching the daddy. What do you want, Sophia? Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and uh, my little Sophia and I would like to welcome you at our art lesson today. And uh, today, uh, just to begin with a few organizational questions, if uh, you are new to this channel and uh, want to receive any feedback or want to stay in touch after uh, the lessons, you can join our chat group uh, and uh, I put the link in the description. And uh, we enabled uh, the live chat during the lesson is uh, active now, so you can write your comments, any questions, I try to answer them in the end of the lesson. And thank you for your support, <laughs> thank you for your thumbs up and uh, truly appreciate it. Uh, so today I have uh, something special for you for this lesson. I brought this magic envelope. It is magic because you never know what it is inside. So shall we have a look and find out what is there today? Sophie, would you like to open it? Yes? So do you want me to hold your ice cream? I hold it. Ice cream. <laughs> oh dear. So, can you open it and show everyone what we have there today? What's there inside? Close your eyes, close your eyes, no picking. It's tickling. Is it tickling you? Wow, what is this? Look, this is a red feather. Another feather, what color is this? Is it yellow? Yellow feather. And another feather. What color is this? Is it green? No, it's not green. It's blue feather. What are they doing here? I'm wondering. Is it something to do with the lesson today? Hmm. Let's have a look. Today we are making parrots but these are special parrots they called macaw what is it so special about them they come in all sorts of different colors and they live uh, originally they come from south america which is a bit south from us of course Some of them are blue color. This, uh, this macaw called hyacinth macaw. And these are the largest macaw in the world. Some of them, like the one we are making today, is, has all sorts of different feathers. You see his head is red. He has some nice yellow and blue color on his back and wings and his tail is red and blue and some of them like this macaw in the middle has beautiful yellow feathers and blue back look at this picture you notice that our feathers we have at the lesson that we found in the envelope are exactly same color that the scarlet macaw and today we are making a scarlet macaw in a special technique called collage collage is uh, when you put in different pieces of paper together and assembling them in one beautiful composition so let's get started Sweetie, so just a second. Mommy, I want my towel. Here's your towel. Do you want to give it to Daddy? The ice cream. Yeah. Thank you. 
oops, sorry. So this is the Macau we're making today. And for this we need uh, different colors. And let's begin with painting the paper with green or probably not green, we leave the green for, for the leaves because the Scarlet Macau has a uh, red face and... Uh... Hello, mommy. Hello, welcome back, Sophia. Will you be painting the paper with these different colors to make the palette together? Yes? Okay. So get ready your white pieces of paper. Mommy. We will have three or four. Mommy. Would you like to take my place? Here you go. Sit here. We'll begin with painting with red color. <laughs> Take uh, your biggest brush you have. The bigger brush is the better because we will be painting quite large pieces of paper. And we will be standing or sitting down. Okay. And I'll begin painting it very quickly stretching the color and uh, it's nice if you have some texture like here and there uh, it will make this effect of feathers hopefully and uh, you see I'm not really trying hard I just quickly cover piece of paper with white color and uh, I'm not really <laughs> I'm painting with red. So this will be the head and uh, we can take some of the pieces uh, for the tail and now we need to paint a piece of paper that will be used for the back of the parrot. Take, please take another piece of paper, wash your brush Taking some paper and towel. Little, little brushes. This is for little brushes. Yes, this is for little brushes. So I'm washing my brush so colors don't mix together. And uh, please dry it with the towel. It's very important because we need to dry it quickly. So now I'm going for yellow. Is the yellow color. I'm doing pretty much the same, just quickly stretching it across the paper, not spending too much time on it. But at this time I'm covering only half piece of paper because another half I want to paint with blue. Please wash your brush again before painting it so we don't get green you know if yellow and blue mix together the color becomes green yellow and blue makes green is it right Sophia here you go would you like to paint something yeah. yes Take a brush, take this brush, and just dip it inside the color. There you go. And just paint here on the white piece of paper. Well done, wonderful. Uh oh. Do you want to stand up? Do you want to stand up, Sophia? Probably would be easier for you if you stand up. No, stand up there. Yeah. Well done. Mm, what are we uh, doing? Hold it for you and you just paint it. Oh, well done. It's a big brush, isn't it? Big. You're a little girl and this brush is too big for you, probably. Oh, wonderful. Wow, you're doing a great job. I love it. <laughs> It's blue powder that we'll use to make green. to make uh, some feathers, blue feathers for the wings. 
and uh, we'll probably need to paint another piece of paper with blue yeah. for the tail. Wonderful! Take another piece of paper, please. I'm just covering some white bits that's left. And now, because the tail my car has really long, we need a whole piece of paper. And let's paint half of it with blue. Here we'll paint it with blue. And here we'll paint it with red. So we cut long feathers to make a tail. Like this. Yes, they are matching, aren't they? This. They are matching. They are the same colors. <laughs> exactly, they are the same colors. <laughs> same colors. I'm going to make it like this. Yes, that's right. And this half will be red. And this. Wonderful. Red. Well done. And what is a yellow make? Look, I've painted a yellow we really leave just here. We don't need more yellow, hopefully. So again, I need to wash the brush, rinse it in the water, and uh, get it dry with the paper towel to move on to the red color. Oops, sorry. Would you like to paint with red? Yes, please! Thank you, thank you for helping me. Everything is so much easier when you're around, Sophia. I really appreciate your help. Wow, nice. And enjoy. <laughs> Lovely. We're going to paint. <laughs> That's some nice strokes. Don't tap it, just stretch it, stretch it. Up and down, up and down. And don't forget about... Oh, is it too long? <laughs> no. Don't forget to cover whole white paper. Up and down. Wonderful. After we paint the future macar body, we'll move on to painting some leaves. Because macaw, they live on the trees. They eat nuts and some grains. And they, they're wonderful, wonderful, Sophia. Thank you so much. You've done a great job. Do you know that Macau lives really long? Some of them can live up to 100 years. Can you imagine how many things they see during their life? Same! Same color, yes, yeah, same color. So, we only... Yeah, two! Two, yes, red and blue. They say color you. So, what color do you think we need to paint now? <laughs> With what color? We already have blue, red, yellow, some blue again. So we need to paint some paper to make leaves. What color leaves are? What color are they? What color are they? Yeah, are we going to use these leaves today? Yeah! What color are they? What color are they? Yeah. Green! Let's see if this color is matching the color of our leaves. Is it? Yeah. Yes? Will you paint it? Or do you want me to paint? Yeah! Yeah, is what? Mommy paints or Sophia paints? Sophia. Okay, take the brush. <laughs> Enjoy. Go for it. Why? Anywhere, every, anywhere. Yes, we'll use the whole piece of paper. So just paint all paper. From the middle. What's in the middle. Do you want me to help you? Let me begin and you continue. Here you go. I can take another brush. Let's paint together. Is it more fun doing things together, Sophia? Yes. Yeah. 
things that get much more interesting when you do them together. Yay! Wonderful. Don't spend too much time on this, just make it quickly. I love the textures. The more textures you get, the better the result will be. I think they will resemble feathers in I the end. Move. I want to move. Here you go. <laughs> it's so much fun just to stretch colors, just to play with it on the paper. I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> Wonderful, well done, bravo. So don't forget to wash the brushes again, uh, otherwise if the paint get dry, the brushes get spoiled. So we'll wash them quickly and uh, dry them a bit with that the paper color? towel. What that color is it? Uh, this is brown now. He's asking what color brown. is the, the water after we washed all the paint in there. <laughs> now, Sophia, what are we making now? Look, our first piece of paper that we painted with red is now dry, completely dry. So we make, we'll draw the parrot head. And to, to draw a head, I need your hand because we're going to draw it in a special way. Do you remember? Sophia, do you remember when we did this parrot's head? What did you do? What did we do with the hand? Did you put your hand like this? Like yeah. a, did you make a little arch? Yes, and a little arch! Yeah, so we turn it over. We'll be drawing not on this side where we painted, but on the opposite side, here. Can you just uh, put your hand like this, Sophia? Yeah. Make a little arch and hide your thumb. Yes, take, I'll help you in a minute. I'll just take the pencil. Here's the pencil, like this. Hind, tuck the thumb inside. Oh, like inside, like this. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, so we, we made like a little moon or the arch. I'm going to outline your hand. And magically it become a parrot. It's like a bit like tracing shadows. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you for your help, but it's not the end. This is the sort of the head and we need to draw the beak. Like this. That's going to be the parrot's beak. This is the parrot's head. Again. And here will be the parrot's eye. another big here. It looks like elephant. <laughs> Does it look like elephant a bit? No, it's a beak. It's not a... Um, oh, what's the elephant's nose called? Do you remember? Trunk. It's not a trunk. It's a beak. Do you want me to show the parrot's beak? They have very strong beaks. Look, you know that they can break the coconut and the coconut they have very very big shell, very thick shell, so they need to be really strong to, to break it. Do you want to know a secret about the parrots and about the big parrots like Makar? Do you know that they use their noses, their beaks, their, their noses called beaks, they use their noses as a third hand if they, want, if they need to climb, climb up the tree. They hold the tree with their uh, beak and uh, it helps them to climb up. Can you imagine? It's interesting, isn't it? So let's go back to our drawing. Uh, you see, this is the we literally drawn the parrot's head with your hand. Your hand helped me because I traced it. Do you want to cut it out? Uh, to cut it out? Do you want to cut it out with the scissors? Just cut it around like this. I know you're very good with scissors. Yeah, very good at cutting. And while Sophia is cutting the head, I will be drawing the parrot's body. So I take another piece of paper, which already dry, this uh, that we painted with yellow and blue. 
and I draw a sort of a carrot. It's kind of easy to draw a carrot. We make it together. Yes, we are making it together. You see, I just did a carrot. Does it look like a carrot? I think it does. And this is, will be the parrot's body. And I need also the parrot's wings. So what I will do, I'll draw another carrot next to it. And this second carrot I'll split in half. So we will cut only this half of the carrot. And we'll leave this. I'll take scissors and I'll help Sophia. Don't forget, if you need more time during the lesson, you can always pause it and come back to it later and take as much time as you need. I'm cutting. This is a pirate's body. Listen, it's a wing. Looks like a carrot a bit. Here you go. And now I have the other carrot. I'll cut, cut out half of it, which will make the pirate's uh, wing. They have very big, strong wings because they can fly very high and for a very long time. There you go. This made the parrot wing. I'm actually cutting out another half of the carrot because the parrot may have two wings. And to make, so Sophia is cutting the head, we already cut off the body and the wings and uh, now we, on this piece of paper we make the tail. The tail is very long, so I will literally use whole length of this paper to draw these very long carrots. They don't look like carrots anymore, actually, because they're very long. Look. Wow, wonderful! Thank you, Sophia. Right. We are ready to assemble, almost. So, let's see, if I turn it around, yeah. I have one tail, one yeah. feather blue, one red. And uh, let's have another it's a parrot. red. It's a parrot, yes. Uh, do you want to cut these feathers? Tail feathers? Yes, please. Cut out, please. Yeah. And I'll just adjust the head a bit. Sophie actually done great job so I need to change it very very slightly just I'm go I go over the beak to correct the shape there you go oh wonderful Sophia I really the cooking and fingers. Look, this is the outline of the parrot's head. I'm very good. I want to go to cut it in paper. I'm very good to cut it in fingers. Yeah, you're very good. 
Well, you're cut in the tail. Let's read it. Need to paint. I can start to and assemble the parrot. What's that? What's that? It will be the tail. If you cut it out, you will see. It will be the tail. It will become a tail. We are going to let it open it. We are going to paint it. It's interesting, isn't it? How just uh, painted pieces of paper can turn into the parrot. So, I'll start gluing the head and the body to the paper. And we painting. Sophie, would you like to put some glue on top? And uh, I'll continue cutting. Do you want to work with glue or with the scissors? With scissors. All right. I'll put some glue on top of the Oh where the white paper is and then unglue it in the Watching Stickman, don't you? Yes, the Stickman is the Stickman is talking to Sophia. Oh, wonderful! What did he say? He said, Sophia saying, Hello, Stickman, what are you doing? And a Stickman is, is a Stickman is talking to Sophia, and a Stickman is talking like this. Hello, Sophia. Escape group friend. Now I'm gluing the wings. It's it's a tail actually. Tail. It will be the tail, yes. And wait, wait. Something's up with the oh. uh, overhead camera. What to do? I don't know. Have to check it. Oh, how long has it been like this? Yeah. No, just a few seconds really. Uh, and there is like a monkey. There's inside the monkey. There's inside the monkey and bull. This is inside the monkey and boo. And I'll continue cutting this the tail. The, this is toy. The, this is toy. Monkey. We are painting. <laughs> okay, so what we can do for now is just we'll uh, switch to front and lower the camera as we, as we used to do. As a walk around. Sophie, where is the tail? It's it orange. That's orange. <laughs> Sophie, ah, yeah, here it is. Would you like to put some glue? Yes, yeah, glue. That's okay. It's okay, it's working, but it's not showing. Ah, interesting. Is it something that's going to I don't know. No, it's not. Really long tail. There you go. I have a red feather for the tail now, and I'm cutting another red feather. So the tail is red and blue. Ah, he's back. 
Wonderful, thank you. You are such a good technical assistant. It's, the, the video is very choppy, so apologies for everyone. To, uh, no. I have no idea why, because the CPU usage is low. No. Yeah. Thank you, that's good yeah. to the parrot that has a tail. Lovely. And uh, now the red. Let's do the red tail now. Yes, the red tail. I'm not what's Can you apply some glue on top, please? Yes, please. So while Sophia glue in the tail feathers, I will draw. I will draw the the cat. So I just continue the drawing with few lines to outline the beak. I'm making the eye, and and you're gluing the tail. And every parrot, every macaw parrot, has this white area with uh, zebra-like stripes around the eye. Actually, show you the picture of the face again, so you can see. I'm going to draw this Look. white area with the stripes. Look, mommy. Oh, lovely! Thank you so much. We can uh, glue it on top, uh, and we have the last feather that is left. I need to. To the tail again. So, did you see that area which is sort of the triangle shape? So, I'm going to draw it with a pencil and I paint it with white. Here's the white. Is it done? Oh, thank you. It was so quick. There you go, the tail is ready. Uh, so I need to draw the head, a white area around the eye, a black beak, the eye, and uh, we'll stamp some leaves and the parrot will be ready. And what is more? Uh, I'll wait when this white area gets dry so I can draw on top of it. Look at this side! <laughs> huh? it's a now I'm going to paint the black beak. Some of the macaws have be completely Look black. Side. Some of them Look have side. white top on the beak. Look. Oh, thank you, Sophia. Did you close it properly? That's it. Thank you so much. So we are going to come into the fun bit. Would you like to stamp with the leaves? We're going to paint the leaves. I actually draw the eye while I have black paint. There you go. Look, now we are going to take some leaves. We are collected from the garden. And I'm going to apply some green color. Would you like to apply some green color? Where is the brush? Is it is. Take the brush, oh, any brush you like, and just paint on top of the leaf. We actually can do it on the on white piece of paper. Like this? Yeah, like this. Like this? Yeah, like this. Actually, you might... 
What is happening? Is it getting green? Even greener. They are green, <laughs> aren't they? You probably need some more paint. When you stamp with the paint, just make sure it's enough to cover whole surface. Lovely. And you are making carrot. Yes. It's not ready yet. We need to paint the tree where the parrots leave. Leaves, otherwise. He is homesick. We don't want him to be homesick. Wonderful. We painted one leaf. Now we are going to Link. stamp it. Stamp with it. Stamp. stamp. Where do you stamp. want it to place? Let's stamp put it here. Stamp. Let's put it here. Stamp. Stamp. Now I cover it with the paper. And uh, do you want to? Uh, gently press on top. Yes. Like this. Make sure everything pressed everywhere. Shall we see? Shall we open it now? Come on, Sophia. Open it. And open. I'm opening the leaf. <gasps> Yay! Oh. Some beautiful leaf print. <laughs> Let's paint some couple of more maybe. Oops, sorry I touched the camera. Okay. You can do the same on the piece of paper. Just put the leaf on the paper and squeeze some paint on top. And uh, You can use gouache. You can like, uh, try it uh, even with watercolor. But watercolor would work better on the white background, not on the back. Black. Yay. You. Shall we print make a print? Let's place it here on top. Cover it with thin bits of paper and gently press. Rip it. <laughs> yeah, press it, Sophia. Rip. Wonderful, wonderful. You're very strong. Wow. So little and so strong. <laughs> I'm impressed. Shall we open it? One, two, three! Yay! Wonderful, beautiful. So beautiful. And let's add some smaller leaves. Put it aside. And. Oh, actually. Now you're out of time. Nearly finished. Just want to add some smaller leaves. No, don't come on. No, no, no. Do a couple okay. at the same time. My one leaf. It's my leaf. It's my leaf. And I just paint it. Can I just paint? Ah, uh, you want to paint this leaf? There you go. Here's a brush. My brush! Thank you. You're welcome. So I painted two leaves at the same time because they're small. And I'm going to do the same. Put a piece of paper and press. And because there is some color left, I'm going to make another print here on the side. Mama. Mama. Here you go. Do you want to take this table? Here you go, sweetie. Yeah. Look. Oh, you've painted it. Wonderful. Thank you. I You're do welcome. the print here. Just want to show you another type of printing on paper, which you can use 
here in this image. Some more space, yeah. Uh, I have an example somewhere. So what you can do next, you can take this uh, green piece of paper that we painted green recently. It's dry completely. Just careful. That's that's good. Uh, new towel. Yeah, here you go. Then take the leaf. My towel. Thank you. Take the leaf. Put it on the white piece of paper. Take the brush and take black paint. Like it's like olive. <laughs> it's like rainbow. Like like rainbow. And take black paint and paint over the leaf with black this time, not the green, but black. And um, what are we going to do? Look, Sophia, we are going to make a black print now. And now we are going to place it on the green background. One, two, three. Wait, wait for the piece of paper, otherwise you can get really dirty. And press it everywhere. Press it everywhere. Oh, well done, you're so strong. And this, shall we open it? Yeah! One, two, two three. three. Let's see. Open it. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So let's get dry. Rinse the brushes. Let's put it here in a safe place. I'll show you what you do next. And um, what's that color? What's that color is it? Is it blue? It's ah, gray. it's 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 gray now. Yes. It's gray, 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 dark gray. Sophia, can you dry the brushes, please, while I'm cutting out? Here you go. No, take this one. Take this one. This one is clean. So now, what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut out this print and place it somewhere, but. I want to leave some green area around the black print. What's black print? What is black print? What you is see, it? we just made black print. But it still looks like green because we made it on the pre green black background. And what is that? And what is that? What print? A leaf print. Okay, take Can them. Can I use this one? Can I Yes, exactly what we did here. These are leaf prints. I want that. We're going, and this one, and we're going to make two. So these are two types of prints that you've learned today. We're going to make two. We're going to make two. We are making the second part now. So the green. This one, yes, green has red. has a friend. Red friend. Two. And you can place it anywhere you like on the paint on the picture. Actually, you can. It can go over the uh, over the black background. Where do you want it to place, Sophia? Tell me. Where do you want it to place? Here we go. Here? Here? Like this? Yes. Yes? Good. Here you go, just... It's not quite dry yet, so I'm carefully apply some glue here in the corner. And stick it here. So you can play with these 
techniques and uh, create your own composition find the uh, places for the leaves and uh, you probably want to make a tree branch and uh, to draw the parrot's legs so they can sit on it and this is mommy parrot Yes, this is mommy parrot. Yes, that mommy parrot. And this, and, mommy, and this is Sophia parrot. And this is Sophia parrot. Wonderful. Oh, thank you so much for the lesson. Uh, for painting and printing, stamping with us today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed drawing with the hand. Like we did the hand uh, tracing. We did leaves printing. And uh, we did lots of painting with different colors. And now what you can do, you can go to your backyard and try to spot any birds and any feathers. I'm sure you're going to find many. And, uh, but if you find any parrot or any parrot a feather, please do let us know. Uh, there is a link in the comments uh, with the chat group where you can send me your paintings. Mommy, we're going to make, we're going to make a leg with a daddy parrot. Oh, daddy parrot. We don't have daddy parrot yet. That's it. Yeah, we know what to do until the end of the day now. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your thumbs up. Uh, please do subscribe to this channel so you can get notifications about upcoming lessons and uh, to see list of materials in advance. And... Uh, we're actually making new interesting videos prepared with Sophia, but we we keep it as a secret yet. And uh, thank you so much again. Uh, stay safe. Should I play this? Love to you all. Bye. See you next time.